Today's assembly is all about Jesus's ascension into heaven. After Jesus died on Good Friday and rose again on Easter Day, 40 days later, we are told that he left his disciples for good and ascended into heaven. The story is right at the end of the Gospel of Luke and also right at the beginning of the book of Acts. If you see a picture of Jesus's ascension, you'll see him looking slightly odd. He's lifted up from the ground. Sometimes you just have a cloud with his feet sticking out of the bottom, or sometimes you have his whole body, but he's clearly going upwards, looking to us like he's flying. The reason why that is, is because the people at the time of Jesus and for many, many years after believed that if you went up from earth and carried on going up and didn't stop, eventually you'd get to heaven where God dwells. And so what the pictures are doing are showing us that belief that Jesus was going back to be with God in heaven. Now, of course, our view of the world these days is very different. And we know if you go upwards from earth, you just carry on going out and out into outer space. But for them, at the time of Jesus, they really did believe that going upwards took you into heaven. So wherever we think heaven is these days, the really important thing is that Jesus in his ascension went back to heaven. And so the, what we celebrate on the Feast of the Ascension is that Jesus, who was a human being with a human body, who had lived and died and knew what it was like to be human, now went back to be with God in heaven. So that there is nothing at all that can happen in your life that Jesus does not understand. Jesus, who was both human and divine, a human being and God, understands what it's really like to be human. So you can tell him everything. You can tell him in your prayers and your praise what it feels like to be you. And Jesus will understand. Now, in a moment, Mr. Daggett is going to teach us the great Ascension hymn, Hail the Day That Sees Him Rise, in which the words think about what it meant for Jesus to ascend from earth to heaven. Hail the day that sees him rise is a fantastic ascension hymn. We're going to sing along with the cathedral choristers, but first let's warm up our voices. Make sure you're sitting up nicely. Put your shoulders up to your ears. Have a little squeeze and relax. Arms out in front, behind your back carefully and pull on your shoulders a little bit. That's it. Turn your arms by your side. Pop your hands into a diamond shape. Turn it upside down. Pop your hands on your tummy. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to sing a descending scale, putting some numbers to it. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a listen. Lanfair is a tune by Robert Williams, who was a blind basket weaver who could hear a tune and write it down. Amazing musical ear. He's written this uplifting tune. We start with a triad. Have a listen. We're going to give that some numbers. One, one, three, three, five. Your turn. One, one, three, three, five. The next notes after the five come back towards one. We're going to give them five, four, three, two. And then we're going to sing the Alleluia, which is repeated after every line that we get in this hymn. Let's see if we can do this. The tune repeats once, then it changes in line three, and it's repeated again in the final line. Sit up, see if you can sing along with me these numbers, and enjoy. Three, 
The hymn tells the story of Christ's ascension into heaven. Here's the first verse. You can pause the video here and read the words together. Now it's time to sing with the cathedral choristers. Sit up, smile and enjoy. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we celebrate the glorious ascension of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray for your people. We give thanks that you are the God that lifts us up in Christ and helps us along our journey through this life. Help us to lift up others when they are in need and help us to show them the same love that we have known from you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, as our Lord Jesus Christ ascended to his throne in heaven, we pray for the world and for its peace. Help us to build your kingdom on earth and teach us to live together in harmony and unity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, who knows our struggles and worries 
and prays for us now in heaven. We pray too for those who are sick, for those who are in pain or anxious or afraid. Help us to know that you are with us always and to care for one another as you care for us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us join now together with the prayers of those of Jesus, our risen and ascended Lord, in the words that he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.